Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a thrift haul and I bumped into a lady at the thrift store that shared with me a golden item that could help me in the future and I'm going to share it with you later on in the video. Stick around, we're going to jump right into this thrift haul. First of all, piggy bank for my grandchildren. It's still in the box, love it, super cute, nice neutral blue colour for their room and I paid three dollars. Better put some money in it, shouldn't I? That would be kind of a, a nice little idea so that when they jiggle it, they're like, what is inside of this? Next I found, a, is this a spork? A spork and a spoon. And I think, no, I don't know where this is from. And I actually don't know how much she charged me for this. I have the receipt somewhere, but um, these weren't priced. Again, I'm finding lots of stuff in the thrift store that doesn't have prices on, but I'm gonna give these a nice little sand down put some linseed oil on them and give them to my daughter because I have a little jug for her kitchen. So I thought it'd be cute just to sit in a little jug as little decor pieces. But aren't they nice? They're really thick and unique looking. I haven't seen a fork and spoon set like this before. So I'm really happy with this. You know, it's the little things that you can find that really, that really make it worthwhile. Next, I'm gonna show you a little clip of there was so much Thanksgiving autumn stuff. Now's the time to go thrifting if that's what you're after. just had to show you some of the autumn items that I kept coming across there were so many autumn items to choose from and this was only a snippet of it there was so much look at these mugs I love them and that jar I love the lid on that jar it's patterned it's beautiful and these gosh these remind me back of 1970s I love that pot I wish it had its lid this is cute too little pumpkin pot you could paint that a different color that would look really nice and then this soap dispenser if you took that plastic pot off you could uh, use that as a little vase and, and possibly the world's smallest jug This next piece I had to video, I just thought this was really, really nice. Can you imagine this painted a different color? And that was real marble on the top there, beautiful. Found this little dish and my daughter is gonna do green colors in her house. So I thought she might like this. I paid $2 and she can start her little collection of autumn. Um, what a cute jar though. And you can put it next to the front door and just plop your keys in there. Yeah, happy with that. And it's in perfect condition too. And I love this color, I absolutely love it. Next, we have, you know how I love wood. So I found this. Um, I'm not sure if this has been damaged or whether that is the natural wood. I I don't know, it doesn't feel, first of all, I thought it had been sanded, but it's completely smooth. So I'm not sure about that. I might have to give this a sand down and see if I can blend this in with the rest of the color. But this costs $3 and it comes with the feet as well. Um, originally, Lippa? made in Thailand but yeah how nice for maybe a bathroom a little collection of soaps and oils on it I like this so yeah this next item I love I'm definitely going to change the color of the frame because I'm I don't like the color at all but I like what's inside I wonder if I need to bring this up closer I love this. Now, now the blue inside is the same color of my chair that's in my bedroom. So 
Number one, that's perfect. Two, I just adore these. They're absolutely cute as heck. I've never seen anything like this before, but I really, really like it. And again, $3. Today was the day for the $3 finds. Um, it has some sort of stamp on the back. I don't think it's an antique. It has like a really modern fixture on here. But no, I'm really, really happy with this. It reminds me of home. Next. This, I really like this. I love the colors, very neutral, $2. Um, it has the little felt on the bottom and it's, can you hear it? It's very textured. And I like how half of it is glazed and half of it isn't. I think that's so cute. Just to sit on the kitchen counter or in a little side table display next to a plant or maybe just like one sprig of a twig coming out. I really like it though, even in a bathroom. Yeah. Next, I found this little jug and I love the colors. Isn't that cute? So we got, oh, I didn't even notice this. It has a really nice little detail here. This was $3, I believe. Oh, this was $2, even better. Um, it has a marking on the bottom. I think this was handmade. This looks like a little, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up, but that looks like initials there. So whoever made this, well done, because it's, it's lovely. And it has like lilacs and a, like a dusky rosy pink, cream and grey. Yeah, I really like this. I'm not changing this at all. No paint will come near this. <laughs> right, another little frame I found. Um, I'm getting close to almost having enough frames to do my gallery in my bedroom, so that will be coming up shortly. Um, but I like this. I might keep it grey, I might change the colour slightly on it. But yeah, I'm going to probably um, flick through my book that I bought recently from the thrift store and find a picture to go in here. But yeah, this was $3 and made in India and it has, I can hang it this way or this way. But yeah, a little bit of damage on the back, but no one's gonna see that. Yep, happy. Next I found three little wall plaques. Now my last video, I did a wall plaque and it said welcome and I painted it. I found three little ones. Oh, they were $2 each. I'm not gonna keep the colors on this. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna actually probably do some black and maybe some gray and some cream, maybe some oatmeal color. But I wanna knock the colors off of this one. And I'm probably gonna give these to my daughter for her front porch. And they have little hooks on the back, but because our outside walls are so textured, I'm not sure that these are gonna work because the nail's gonna have to stick out quite a way for it to catch and then it's probably gonna hang like this against the textured wall. So what I might do is take these off and mount them on a piece of wood and then hang that on the wall. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe this way? Like three hanging down like this, maybe? But yeah, stick with me. I might, might do this next, my next DIY, because I'm excited to do this one. I like it when I get excited about some things, some finds. So yeah, these were $2 each. Yeah, oh, oh, I scored here. And this is a fun project. This is a project that, when I was a kid, I used to love coloring and coloring books. So for me, something like this is just some quiet time, some chill. You know, sometimes you wanna just sit down and read a book, drink a coffee, have a glass of wine and just chill. This is what I like to do for my chill moment. Get some paints out and just calmly chill. Next, I found three pictures for my grandson. Now, these were all $3 each. Now, they're in really, really good condition um, as far as if I wanted to repaint and do a whole new picture. However, I think he likes like dump trucks. Every time we drive past them building new homes, he always wants to stop and look at the trucks and watch them pick up the dirt. So, there is a little damage on the blue around the edging. So. If he likes the pictures, I'll keep the pictures, but just redo the edging. And I have this truck, this tractor, 
and this cement mixer. But they were all $3 each and all of them have the same dings on the edge and on the blue around here. So I will let him decide whether he wants to keep these or whether he wants whole different pictures and then I'll just whitewash and do new pictures for him. So yeah, I hope he likes these. Next I found these. I think these are awesome. Okay, you won't believe how much I paid for these. Now they were both the same price, even though one's bigger than the other, but $4 and $4. And I think these will look really nice, just painted black. And with these, you can put the larger candle in or you can do the stick candles. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna show you what these end up looking like when they're finished. But for $4 each, I mean, that's amazing. Next, I found this little table. I think it's so stinking cute. I don't know where this was originally purchased. There's no labels or anything on it. But how sweet is this to have sitting next to the sofa that you can just put your glass down on? And it has this. Now, I'm probably gonna change that. I might even do a marble design on the inside and then paint this all black. But yeah, this was $10 and it's really sturdy and stable, so it's in really good condition. So all it needs is just a little makeover. And look, it's the absolute perfect height. And this is my star bite of the week. Okay, this is a little corner table. This is extremely heavy, solid, solid marble here. And I'm gonna repaint it. If anyone knows what this is, what it's for, does it serve a purpose? I have no idea. Um, I flipped it over and it does have, oh gosh, this is so heavy. Let me put the camera down. So it does have this screw, so it could be removed and I could fill the hole up. But this actually leads me to the tip that the lady in the thrift store shared with me and I'm about to share with you. Okay, when I was in the thrift store, I found this little item here. And I picked it up, I looked at it, and I was so confused as to what it was. It was the slit on the side that threw me off. Immediately, because I had just bought the piggy bank for the grandchildren, I thought, well, piggy bank, but it's that small. It could only fit pennies, and it could only probably fit about 10 pennies. Plus, when you put the money in, surely it would fall straight back out again. So anyway, I put it back on the shelf and I walked down just a little bit. And this lady walked up and she was a customer and she was looking around the shelves and she was looking at the autumn things. Well, there's an autumn thing on the top and there was an autumn thing on the bottom shelf. So what she said was, oh, I'm going to put these two items together because I bet someone would love, love to buy the pair. And I thought... That was a really cute thing to do you know thinking of other people and then putting the two items together so i looked at her and i said do you have any idea what this thing is so she picked it up and she looked at it and she was like nope but she said i bet i can find out how and this is what she showed me she pulled out her phone pressed on google she pressed on this icon here entered the photograph of the item and then it gave her similar items and she could scroll through and then read what it was. It ended up being an incense burner, which I never ever would have guessed. So I'm now gonna take a picture of that table and see if I can find out what that center wood piece is. So let's give it a go. So I opened my phone, opened Google, clicked on the camera, took a picture of the table, and then it pulled up similar tables. However, when I clicked on the picture that most looked my table, it only gave me so much information. It didn't actually tell me what that little wooden spindle was. So for me, this didn't actually work for me this particular instance. But I love the fact that it brings up similar items. I will definitely be using this 
more often. So that's something about my phone I never knew I could do. So I'm gonna be using that all the time now when I'm in the thrift store, because I had no idea that that table could possibly be Victorian. Hmm, I think it's maybe more a reproduction. <laughs> anyway, I'm super glad that she shared that information with me. And you know what? It pays to talk to stranger. Anyway, I really hope you like the haul. Um, yeah, I found some really good stuff. I'm going to jump right on these projects this week. And let me know if you've gone to the charity shop lately and what did you find? And whether you found a project, there is nothing like a good deal. Anyway, I want to say a massive thank you for watching my channel and sticking around. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't, consider it. It is free. Anyway, thanks a lot and I'll see you next time.